Today we're going to take a look at an attack that has been affecting a lot of people while they are browsing the web. Um, this attack is called the Hofler text or Hofler text um, font attack. It's being um, orchestrated by something called EI test. And what happens is um, uh, attackers are um, hacking legitimate websites, injecting JavaScript into these site, sites so that when visitors go to them, it makes the site look all garbled um, and the characters and the, and, the, and the text is not able to be read. It then shows a Chrome alert or what, what, we, what is pretending to be a Chrome alert. And uh, this alert will say that uh, the user does not have the Hoffler text, Hoffler text font installed on the computer and that they should download and install a Chrome font update in order to be able to properly view the site. And um, so instead of showing a live site that is currently hacked and potentially embarrassing them, I put together a sample HTML file, just a test one, where I injected the um, JavaScript into it manually, and it just shows exactly what a visitor would see if they went to a hack site um, that's using EI test. So when we open the file, it shows a website. There is text on this website, but it's been um, changed by the JavaScript code to be garbled looking like this. And as you can see, we see a message that looks pretty legitimate that says that the Hoffler text font wasn't found and then it prompts you to install a Chrome font pack. If someone clicks on the update button, it will automatically download the file. And um, it's important to note that though this file has been downloaded, the user will, will not be infected unless they actually run it. Um, and, and that's the goal of this. Um, this, this. This screen here is trying to trick the user into downloading and installing that program. Once the program is installed, it could install a variety of different malware. Right now it's installing the Spora ransomware. Um, it could also uh, install uh, Flearsivit, which is a information stealing Trojan. But um, theoretically, the malware uh, distributors can really change the malware to whatever they want. What, they can push out whatever they want. Because essentially when you click on the update button, it sends a post form request to a remote site, which then sends the file. So at that remote site, they can change it to whatever they want. Um, to give you an idea of what the actual site is supposed to look like, if we go into the source code, it's just standum lorem ipsum type stuff. Um, and if you scroll down to the bottom, this is the CSS, and you keep going, and you get to the JavaScript for the font pack. Um, here is the actual... Um, uh, remote site that will send over the executable. Um, but as you can see, uh, it's normal text that has be re been rewritten to uh, look garbled like this. So the reason for this video is there is a lot of misinformation out there. There is a lot of sites saying that this, this attack right here is being shown because you're infected with adware, you have a virus installed on your computer or whatever the case may be. That's not true. It, it's, it's, uh, it's it's false. Uh, the only reason why you're seeing this message is because you have visited a site that is has been hacked and has this code injected. You will not be and and it's harmless. The only time it's a problem is if you run this program, the Chrome Font EXE. Um, if you don't run it, you're not going to be infected. So seeing this message does not indicate you're infected. All it does indicate is that that site has been hacked and that you should avoid it. And um, that's it. So uh, if you run into this, the Hoffler text font wasn't found message, I would avoid the site. I would not install anything it downloads, and you should be okay. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments.